guys, it is me, Octa Cannon, and I am back with a new Steam Team Thursday for this week, and I hope this comes up in the week that I want to, because actually the last one I couldn't upload the week I wanted it to, and I didn't want to upload it on a weekend, because, um, what's Steam Team Th what does Steam Team Thursday mean then? So, I'm sorry that there wasn't an episode two weeks ago, but yeah, we are back here with a new little theme um, which is actually a bit different I mean it's it's a little bit more uh, not that straight up it's a little bit more you need more fantasy to to see that so uh, I'm just going into that right now so we see uh, we have a circus type of theme team and I'm going to go over the six mon mons first, and then I'm going to explain them. Um, first, I have Mr. Mime, of course, I like the, the pantomime type clown thing. I don't know how to call that. And then we have Conkelda, which can also be a clown with the red nose, but that's not what I want to go to. I want to go to the strong man who can uh, lift a lot of things and stuff. You see them sometimes. In the then we have uh, the animals here. We have the lion and the elephant, which I think. Uh, Animals that um, you see more often in circuses. I'm not really a big fan of circuses. Circuses? Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, of things like the circus in general, I don't like it that much. Um, but that theme came to my mind, and then I thought I'll use it. And then of course we have the magician here, the uh, the Miss Magius, and the acrobat with Ampipom. So I'm going into the first one. Which is actually Pantomime the Mr. Mime with a Choice Scarf and Technician, which is great for the Ice Wind and the Hidden Power Fighting. We then have Psy Shock and Shadow Ball to hit different things. Um, I'm actually not sure if I wanted to keep that Shadow Ball there. Um, however, I did want to use Dazzling Clue, actually. I think that's what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure I'd rather take Dazzling Gleam. Yeah. Um, then we have, of course, 252 special attack, 252 speed, with a modest nature. Um, yeah, with a choice graph, it can outspeed pretty much everything, which is pretty cool, of course. Nothing that is not scarf, but it can outspeed something like a Mega Lopony, so that is really cool. So let's go to the next one, which is a strongman, the Conkelder, with the assault vest guns, pretty standard, 252 HP, 252 attack, with an adamant nature. With Drain Punch, Mark Punch, Knock Off and Ice Punch, Ice Punch for those Landorists and stuff. Uh, Mark Punch of course for priority and Knock Off because it's just great if something wants to switch and like Psychic Types or, some, or Ghost Types to predict my Drain Punch or something. So that is really cool. Um, I did want to do to take Poison Jab but in my trial battles I almost saw no fairies but a lot of ghosts and psychic types, uh, so I decided to take knockoff instead of the poison trap. So we'll see how that works. Probably we are going to run in a lot of Sylveons and Clefables this time. But what can you do? You have to decide on something. Um, so the next thing, uh, next Pokemon, is Lion the Pyro with a with a Life Orb and Unnerve uh, with Flamethrower, Hyper Voice, HP Ground, and Fire Blast. Of course, Flamethrower and Hyper Voice for good steps. Fire Blast. I uh, I just took so. When I know that flamethrower is not strong enough, I and I have to risk the fire blast. I can do that. And the HP ground as well. Heatran. Yeah. Um, I have 252 special attack and 252 speed with the timid nature. And yeah, the next thing is elephant the dawn fan with leftovers and sturdy 252 HP, 252 defense with an impish nature that is fully physically defensive, cannot take any special hits, but that is okay. We have Rapid Spin to get rid of the rocks, we have Stealth Rocks to set up rocks ourselves, Earthquake for a good staff, and then we have Roar. Um, I wasn't sure if I... Sh because that's my thing to handle Talon Flames, so I wasn't sure if I should take Rock Slide or Stone Edge, or do I want to take Roar. But in the end I decided for Roar because... Um, if I have Stealth Rocks up, I can phase him out. Of course, he can uh, use Rapid Spin or Defog or something. But uh, I also have a Spin Blocker, so that's pretty cool. And he takes two. And he takes two times. He takes Stealth Rocks damage two times. Damn. Um, 
if he comes in on that, and then I run out, and then he has to come back in again. So I thought that would be better because if it's like a willow wisp kind of set, um, I do not do too much damage. So I can willow wisp me and then roost and bulk up, and I I cannot do too much when I have a rock tap move. And also they could miss. So that's what I wanted to do. And also with raw, I can get rid of some other setup mounts. Um, so I decided for that. And the, uh, the next thing is Magician the Miss Magius with leftovers levitate as you see with 252 HP and 252 special defense and 4 speed um, with a calm nature fully specially defensive. So this is my special wall with Will-O-Wisp to burn people with taunt to stop people from setting up or just in general lock in walls into certain taking moves or something. So that was pretty cool. And then Dazzling Gleam. Um, just because the people would probably bring in uh, ghost, uh, I'm sorry, uh, dark types on that. So I want the Dazzling Gleam for the coverage there. Then I have the Hex because if the things get will o wisp I do a lot of a lot of damage with that Hex. So that is cool. And still, 65 is not the worst uh, of powers, but yeah, it's not that great without the burn. But that's okay. I think I can. Then the last thing is Acrobat the Ambipom, another life orb mount with 252 attack and 252 speed with a jolly nature. It has of course the fake out, the U-turn for the momentum, the low kick to hit things like Tyranitar and of course the return for huge stab. So um, I think this is a pretty cool team. I will just go into the first battle now and we will see how that's going to go and here we have the first Sylveon of course so I need to watch out for that um, and he'll probably lead with Rotom Wash or Dimension I guess but, but he started the timer so I want to go into Acrobat and uh, I can go for the fake out to see if this is more so defensive probably especially defensive Mew or something so I'm going to go for a U-turn here which is actually awesome this is cool. So this is the physically defensive Rotom right here, which is okay. I think... What do I go into? Probably Pantomime would be the best play. I can just go for a Dazzling Gleam if I want to. Uh, I think this is the best move. Oh, this does some good damage. That's okay. He Vault switches out. That is okay with me, but I got some good damage off on that Rotom, which is okay. Now he goes into the Dimension, which is not that good for me. Uh, I actually want to keep this thing. Um, I also need this is this is not very easy for me to decide. Ah, uh, I hmm, this is very difficult to decide with with what I want to sack off. Um, so looking at my moves, I think that actually this is the the best thing to lose. So he actually goes for the U-turn, which is very good. So I can just go for another Dazzling Gleam here. Um, so after that he will probably realize that I'm Scarf because why would I go for a Dazzling Gleam on a Dimension? Um But yeah, let's see what he switches into. He goes into Mew, which takes a crit, which is cool. Um, I guess he's going for the Roost then. So I think I may as well go into my Strong Man. I cannot take too many hits, but I can knock off on that, which would be awesome. Yeah, oh, or softballed. Um, I really want to get rid of that leftovers, and knock off should do a whole lot because that looks very specially defensive and not physically defensive, so that should do some good damage. And I can live a psychic, I can also live a session, I think, because yeah, this is of course not offensive. Um, he goes for a knock off, which is actually not that bad for me. Um, so, what would he go for now? He has knockoff, he has softball, so probably defog, and don't know if he has the psychic stab or if he has the willow wisp, so I, I want to know what he does here. He just softballs, okay. Um, still, if I, if I catch him on a turn where he does not go for the softball, maybe I can take him out. Uh, of course, I don't know if he has the psychic. Psychic could take me out. Not that sure though. He just switches out into Sylveon, which is not that bad actually, because of course 
that thing uh, now has a little bit less of possibilities. I actually think that Will O Wisp is the best play here. He just goes for a protect, which is interesting because now he'll probably just switch out into Dominaton. I guess that's what he's doing. That would probably be the best play for him to do. Mew, actually. Um, so I want to see how much the U turn did. Did 21%. So I actually want to fake out first. That is good. Did the fake out do so much wrong? Oh, actually it did not. Oh yeah, I, I U-turned on the Rotom, of course. Uh, so I could have probably gone for the U-turn. Uh, but that's okay, I guess. Maybe he wants to suck it off here. Should have just gone for the U-turn. I did not watch that uh, right. But that's okay, because I can U-turn out. If he switches out, I get good switch initiative, but he just sacks that thing off. Mm. As I probably want to go into my into my Mr. Mime here to see what he wants to do. Um, so if he, we will see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, that, that's what I would have done as well to just get the Mega Evolution off and be able to just bullet punch. But I don't. I don't need to set that thing off right here to that. Oh, he actually goes for power up. I don't know if that would have killed me actually. But I do just want to go for the earthquake. I don't think he can do too much to me. I mean, of course, that plus one is great for him. But still, I'm fully physically defensive. I should be able to take a lot of hits. So, he takes so long, I actually. Oh, okay, so. So this did do some good damage, and I think I should not sack this off right now. I think I should sack something else, and I think Pandemon is the choice here. Could have sacked this off earlier, but I think that's okay. He actually goes for the Earthquake. That would have not taken me out, but yeah. There's no reason for me not to go into... Oh my god, he can actually be faster. Ooh, I did not realize that... Okay, that was a very dumb play from my side. Um, maybe he's adamant. Probably not if he has the power punch, though. Like that, that was a very bad play. Should have... Uh, should have watched that before. I thought that the pyro was faster, though. But it, it looks like it isn't. But maybe he is wondering now why I brought this in, and he may not attack because he thinks someone is something is wrong. But I I cannot. Mm. This is a problem. Should not have risked that at all. But I don't have too much, uh, too many other things to handle that. So actually, there was. Wasn't I? Yeah, I couldn't have hit him with with Mr. Mind though. Um, I'm interested in what he wants to do now. I I still hope he's adamant so that I outspeed him. But I mean, if you pack the power punch, you don't need to do that. I, I think he bullet punches. So he actually did either think I'm scarfed or he was adamant, and I don't know. I, I think I bluffed this guy very well, very well actually. Um, do I need this thing though? Um, I don't think I need it that much. I'm just yeah, he earthquakes, which is okay because I know he's locked in now, and I have no reason not to go for Willow SP because I know he was faster, so he is. Of course, 100% scarfed, um, which means I can now go for a taunt, which is awesome. So he can not use wish anymore. So I'm just going for hex right here. Catch the Rotom, which is great. Um, so am I faster? I am faster. If he's not fast, so that is great. This Rotom is taken out. Um, which is awesome. Mm. 
I actually think that Elephant is the best play here. He just goes for the flare blitz. So I am going into my acrobat here. Do go for a fake out. Should do some good damage. Then I'll probably sack my my strong man. Which is probably the best play. So let's see what he actually does then. Um, if he switches out, that is okay with me. I actually think he should do that. He should probably switch into Ditto because I don't think that's bringing him too much. But I'm not sure. I think Ditto doesn't have the best matchups against my mods. May maybe against this here, but so. Mm, I think, yeah, I'm going into Strongman because he kills himself if he flare blitzes on that. Which is awesome, he doesn't even kill me and he doesn't kill himself, so I can. I mean, <clears throat> this thing is huge for him. So would he sack it off? At this point, he, he, he may. So, I'm glad I didn't overpredict there. This is really good. Because if I did predict him to switch out there, this wouldn't have been that great. Um, let's actually look. I think that knockoff is the best play. No, no, it isn't. If he locks himself into a fighting type move, this is awesome for me because I can just go into my Miss Magius. Then I, I, I really think he scoffed. But he would have double scuffers then, but I cannot afford to knock off his scarf so that because that is when he beats me. I think that just drain punching is the right play. Um because if he goes for a drain punch he takes me out, that's okay. If he goes for a mark punch, probably too. But um if he goes for a knockoff predicting me or something, then I can get a huge hit off with that drain punch. So I think that is the right play to do, to make. Yeah. Um, and if he takes me out, that's okay. I can go into Miss Magius, and he's pretty much forced to switch out. Then if he's not scuffed, if he's not scuffed, then he probably has me here. That's probably not too much I can do then. But I, I'm I, I do not see too many people who don't scuff there. You know. So we we will see. Um. And actually, if he is faster, I don't even know if... Yeah, he does go for the knockoff. I, I really thought he would do that. Um, no, that that's not right. I, I didn't really think he would do that. Oh, he... I I think that if he did that, I would win. So, that is great. Um, yeah, and he just forfeits. So, this is a good first... This was a good first game. Even though I think I did do some misplays. But that's okay. Um, he'll probably lead off with either Torterra or Sableye, I guess. So I really think that Pandemime is a good play. Rotom Heat! So I really didn't expect that. I'm just going for Sunshot because that is, I think, the best play against that Rotom. I can hit it at least, at least do some damage to it, see what kind of set this is. And it hits everything apart from the... Oh my god, that is some good damage. So he's actually... Slow choice scuff or something? Looks like it. Um. So I, I'm going for a Dazzling Gleam now, because I really think he will switch out here. That is great. And I catch it on the switch and I take it out. This was a great prediction for me. Really good. He really helped me with that trick. Because he allowed me to lock myself into a, another move, which is awesome. Um, at this point... Aw, oh, this is a problem. This is a real problem. This thing is dangerous. I think I'm going into Elephant here to set up my rocks. He's nasty plotting. Okay, I'm just Rory. I do not want to play any games. 
Maybe he sets up another one or something. I don't. Oh my god, please don't flinch. Yes, that is awesome. I did not flinch. And. At this point, I'm self rocking. Maybe he can take me out, but that's okay. Okay, so I know that this thing is nasty bloody, which is really not that good. So. Hmm. So. I know he's locked into that. And I think he should be switching out here because that trust conf can still be useful at some point. So I really think he's switching out here. Okay, he goes into the tentacruel, that is okay. Um I just wanna go for a taunt here. He's not knocking off. That was a good play. Um mm-hmm. I think I'm using Hex to see what... Okay, so actually he brings in the Lantern. So, is his heal Bella? Maybe? Um... But I think... This should be a good switch. And he actually gives me Guts, which is awesome. And mm, I don't think he would stay in. He's probably going for a Volt switch and brings in the Token Kiss. At least, I hope so. It's really risky for him to do that. But uh, I think he he could be someone who does that because he did pull the switch into the sail line, so why would he not switch something in like that again? Or or I catch the Torterra. That is okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, um Of course he, he can paraflinch me here, but I I just do not want him to set up. But this this is awesome. This is really good. Maybe if he doesn't flinch me again? Uh, yeah, n now I get flinched. Um, the knock punch is not a good play. Yeah. This is good. This is actually really good. I did take out the Torterra. I did predict the Token Kiss, but Torterra is good as well. Um, I actually do not think that using Fake Out has... Is, there, there is no need to use Fake Out. I think, yeah, two returns do the trick on that lantern, which is great. Just going for another one. Um, Acrobat is my win condition here, 100%. He can take off that Toka Kiss because he's, of course, faster. Um, this is awesome. Really good not to go for the, the other attack there. I don't have a reason to risk him killing me. He's knocking off. That's okay. I don't need that. I, I don't need that trust gone. I can just go for Sasha here. If he stays in, that's great. If he switches out, I kill the Rotom. Nice. That's good. That's good. Um. I mean, what would he want to do with that Togekiss? I'm using Icy Wind. I'm. I'm. I could be faster. Yes, I am. So if he's not going for Roost, he does go for the Roost though. Um. He. Oh, he just forfeits. Okay. I think he could have won this. If I if I did make a mistake, or if I predict him wrong, he could have very well won this. Um, but yeah, let's see. He has a rain team, so he'll probably want to lead with his rain thing. Um, I do not have too much for the, for the Polytoad, though. Uh, I think I just want to go into Acrobat. And see if this is physically defensive or spiritually defensive. This is not physically defensive at all. Um, this could be scuffed though. Is scuffed Rotom? Hmm, I, I do not want to risk it. He's not switching. I, I, I did not want to risk him hard pumping me uh, to the next dimension, so. I think that there was an okay play. Um, wait, what was this? I think good. He's scalding. I think that, that doesn't do too much, so that is a defensive kind of polito. Um, still, I do want to go for the hex there. I want to get that thing out of here as fast as possible. So I'm going for another hex. If I get this thing out, it is awesome. It has rest. 
So rest, sleep, tox, girl, toxic. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm going into strong man because he does not. Oh, he's not sleep talk. I do want to knock off here. I want to see. Of course, I I know what he has. I do not need to knock off his item. I can just go for a drain punch. Oh God, that is a bit physically defensive. Um. Ice punch to take this out. I'll just do that. Scissor. Oh my god, I got a freeze. This is awesome. I can just drain punch on that. This is okay. This is okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he actually thaws first turn. Ah, this is not good for me. Ah, oh, man. I think it would have been better for me to not freeze him here because then I didn't think he would be frozen the whole time and then I uh, would have switched out or something. So does he think he can kill me? He actually thinks he can kill me. This is good. This is a big threat that is out of the way. Um. Huh. I think knockoff is the best play. He's hydro pumping. This is one hell of an offensive Rotom. Like what the I think I'm going into this too. I I wanna get this confirmed. He actually goes into the wet frog. Um who cannot take three of them? Which is awesome. He gets his rain up, but he probably loses his wet frog. This is okay. This is okay. Um, I need to stall that thing out, of course. Um, hmm. <laughs> Which is uh, easier said than done. Uh, I actually think that this is not really going to help us out too much. I need to stall out those turns. So this fake out does some good damage. Um, then I need to go into elephant. <laughs> this is this is a sacrifice game, but yeah, if, if I don't get burned, this is great. It is great, nice. Um, I will just go for stealth rocks. Of course, he takes me out. Um, but then I I have stalled out the rain turns very well, and now I'm just going for the U-turn here. Which is very nice. Um, so if I bring that in and he brings in the Rotom, um, I probably get confirmed that it is Gaffed. He actually actually brings in the Chomp, which should get some good damage by this. It actually doesn't take him out, which is unfortunate. Um, I can still go into this thing here. I go for a Dazzling Gleam, of course he brings in the scissor. Should have predicted that actually. I do not have anything to kill the scissor. Yeah, that was a good play by him. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I'll just go for a return here. I have no reason not to. Yeah, hmm. That was not that great. Uh, what does the most damage actually? This is at least a 90 power move? Yeah, it does nothing. He doesn't even have bullet punch, it seems like. Mm. Oh, this actually did some good damage. Yeah, still, this was a good game. Mm. The freeze actually was very unfortunate. <sighs> If I get frozen, I'll always stay frozen for the whole game. And he thought our turn one. Actually, it, it, it really would have been better for me if you would not have been frozen. But yeah, it's okay. Um, what what can you do? The guard jump is very obvious as as lead, but oh, why would I? Hmm. hmm? Oh, okay. Um, I actually just want to go for Sasha here because that should do some good damage. And we will see what he does. Waterfall. Um, that is not confirming anything. 
but I'm going into my acrobat and I'll just go for a return. Metagross, okay. That's at least some damage on that. I can go for a U turn and just go into my Dawn Fan then. He actually has nothing to defog, which is awesome, so I'm going to to set up the rocks then. It looks like this power punch set is kind of in meta right now, but yeah, then I can actually not go for the stealth rocks. I'm, because this thing is way too much of a threat then. Which is of course not that good for me. But yeah, heal the headbutt here. I'll earthquake and take him out. So this is one threat of the way, but his team is actually full of threats. So, um, mm -hmm. We will actually see Oh, if this is fast, probably is fast. Waterfall. Um, I will just go for the return. Probably brings in the chomp, and I get a whole lot of damage on myself. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that does nothing. Oh, that is so much damage. I do 30% to myself. It's really not good, but yeah. Uh, I need to switch out. Uh, will he predict my ice punch? I mean, I can. I cannot afford to do something else, actually. I need to get that thing out of the way. But Weavile is not a switch in. I ain't going for the mock punch here. I really don't know why he did that. I mean, Weaver is not the best thing against me, but still. Um. You mm, probably just go for the hurricane here, and I can live it. I cannot live it good, but yeah. Thought it was maybe a salt vest, etc. Um. Hmm. Would he keep that thing, though? I mean, if he hurricanes, he kills himself. If he switches out, this is awesome! This is very, very good! I really thought he would do that. So that is one big threat out of the way, a really big threat. And I'm going into Acrobat now. And I can't just go for the return here. Oh man! Oh, of course he has the Aqua Chain. Why would I not think of that? What, what did I expect? I really don't know what, what I did expect there. Um, so, yeah, uh, I do not see too much of a chance for me, actually. He will not take me out, so this is at least something. Um, but yeah, I, I now he, I, I will not be able to beat him, I think. Uh, uh, mm, Fire Blast is the best play to do. But they are both faster than me, so yeah, I cannot do too much. So actually, we have time for one more. We lost two, we want two, and let us see what we get to in the last battle. Another guard jump. I hate guard jumps so much. <sighs> yeah, but so um, maybe he leads with it, and I can take it out. Casper the Ganga. We will see what kind of set this is, at least. So, let's see the Focus Sash or Scarfed or Life Out. So, we will 100% see what item he has. Or we kill him. So, we will see the Sash or the Scarf or we kill him. Which is awesome. So, that is uh, that out of the way. I, I don't actually know if I should have risked that because. The the Gotcha was a problem. And of course I can handle that, but I don't have too much to handle it. Um he's going for the earthquake. Uh I do not see an item on him. I really think he'll switch out. Um this is not that bad. Hmm. He's probably X. So I think he's going for a Dragon Dance without Mega Evolving. 
Oh, he's Y on that team. Interesting. Huh. Really, I, I really didn't expect that. What's coming from Fake out here? Our champ, yeah. He's probably just going to go for rocks here. Toxic. Um, if I can get the thing out of the way, that would be awesome. He's going into Confable. I at least get him slower. Don't know what that should do. Um, yeah, I'm going into this thing here. Oh, last. Uh, I do want to taunt him, but I also want to Willow Wisp. I think I'm going to Willow Wisp. Oh, I missed. Okay. Um, and. See, now. Now I really don't want him to Willow Wisp. And now I really don't want him to switch out into his. Charizard. He's actually just staying in. Yeah, still uh, that that does some damage. I I don't know what 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 he wants to do. Yeah. Yes, the crit. <laughs> I was so close to saying maybe I'll get a crit here. So let's just go for another fire blast. Um. So that confirms to me that he is scarfed. He otherwise he would not bring him in there. Mole break. I'm so dumb. I forgot about Mole Breaker. That is not that smart. Uh, but actually, he would not stay in. He goes into Gunchum. Yes, that's great. I get this thing with an Ice Punch and I take it out. Um, so we'll sti we can still win. Uh, that is not the problem. I, I just totally forgot about Mole Breaker. Which is kind of dumb because it's always said. Um, so, this is my least useful mod. This does not do too much. And. Scuffed Excadrill. And then Specs Pony, probably. But I cannot risk him switching out. Oh, he actually lifts that! Um, and he's not Specs. And yeah, um, it still does some damage to that Excadrill. And it takes this thing out here. So, this is the point where I just sack that thing off to see what he locks himself into. Probably Iron Head would be his best play here. Just to get a possible flinch on my, uh, on my strong man. I don't think he would one shot him. But we will see what he does. Hmm. Uh, I still think we can win this though. Uh, but I cannot go for a mark punch because that would probably not take him out. Uh, or is it still the better play? Oh, I'm sorry. He goes for the earthquake. So does that do enough to take me out? I mean, if it does, then it's okay, I can do nothing. Uh, but I really don't think the Mark Punch would kill him. Yes, that is awesome. That was very nice. So, um, this looks uh, very winnable at this point. Uh, so I'll see what he does. I'm just going for the Ice Punch here. He's roosting, actually. Get a crit, I don't think that mattered. I think I can just go for another one. He actually doesn't take me out, which is awesome. Um, I now go for a Drain Punch. Which is a, was a very good play. So I can just kill him with a Mark Punch here, and it's GG. Um, that crit on the Clefable was very unfortunate for him. Probably would have gotten uh, a lot harder to deal with it otherwise. Uh, because I don't have the gunk shot on, on... I I actually don't have any fairy counters on this team. Uh, 
not not even one move uh, to get rid of fairies. Oh, but it, the, uh, it worked. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I'm going to say about it. It worked. Um, so I hope you like that. This one we won three battles and lost two. Um, and this team was, I think, a little bit more balanced than some of the other teams I had, just because the theme was not Pokemon uh, reliant. That is, not, is that the right word? Um, yeah, it just didn't. The theme didn't have something to do with Pokemon. It just was a real life theme in which I tried to find the right Pokemon for, and of course they fit a bit better together because of course there are different magician Pokemon, and there are of course different Pokemon that you could say they are acrobats, and different Pokemon that uh, look like they are strong men. So, um, I, I had a bit more potential, I saw a bit more potential, I had some more choices here, and yeah. This worked pretty well. This is a very long episode this time, actually. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Long episodes are great. And I hope you find that great as well. I hope you watch the next episode as well. And it's going to be a great theme again. I am very sure that it's going to be that. And yeah, uh, yeah, next week is going to be great. So. Stay tuned for that!